So I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the um, what was what is now the like temporary pump house. Um, I'm going to build a water treatment and storage and better pumping and with hot water and everything into the cabin this year. But for now, for last summer, we wanted to just have running water coming from the well. Um, so we're down the bottom of the the property near the, the border and we're coming up to where the well is. Um, it's only a very shallow well, um, which is not great. It dries up quite a bit in the summer. Let's have a look here. So when we first got here, it was just a bucket. You see the bucket over there for getting water out. But I ran this pipe down. You see it down there. fresh although we did get it tested and we need to run it through a UV filter so I have one of them problem being it's a 230 volt so I'm gonna need to build a system I have a plan for that I'll make a video about it when I get that sorted so I run a I run a hose pipe out of the the well up into this thing though it's a little bit of wood that I knocked up it's all turned off now because it's it froze and burst one of the pipes and it ran the batteries a bit dead so the whole thing's drained now so very cheap pressure water pump from Bealtema the, the the line comes in through a small particulate filter into the pump and then pressurizes this uh, accumulator tank shore flow accumulator tank it there and the reason you have one of them is with a pressure pump especially when you're running off solar or battery you want to save as much power as possible even if you have a, if you have a tiny leak in the in the system up to the tap or whatever wherever it's going the pressure just keeps dropping over time and the pump will just keep cycling to get the pressure up cycle 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 and that is bad for the pump and I think pretty bad for the batteries as well so what you do is you get a, you get the pump to fill up the accumulator tank and then over time this will drain as pressure is lost and then the pump can cycle for a bit longer to fill that up yeah so it saves it so yeah and then we have then it came out it's, it's, just, it's not attached at the moment but it came out of the accumulator tank into a hose on the ground which ran all the way up to a tap up there um, and it worked really well yay yesterday Toby got the water going uh. <laughs> bootstrapping <laughs> yeah now we're playing with the water pistol aye. Aye, aye, aye. so yeah that's the temporary water system i'm going to be building like over here where the bores have been i'll just take you up here so I think down here would be a pretty good place for uh, some sort of water treatment shed. I'm thinking dig out a bit, put down the granite rocks that they use for foundations in this area and then build a platform on top of it and get a few thousand litre tanks. And then I have a different well pump that I'll put in there, run it through the UV and a ceramic filter and then into a fresh water tank. Uh, one of the thousand litre tanks is fresh water and then have a separate system that pumps it up into the mudroom and the mudroom is the only place that's going to have running water because I don't want to go through the beams into the main cabin so yeah that's the temporary water system so here I am at the the shed you can see down here there's there's been bores digging around what what are you barking at? Woodpeckers probably. Um, as you can see there's been boars and they've, they've torn up a lot while we were away over Christmas. And I, like we have this really nice stone wall but I don't think that will keep them out properly. So for them and for Wesley I'm thinking I'm gonna fence off a large part of this lawn style part of the property. Um, 
So yeah, we're at the shed. Now I'll show you some pictures of how it used to look. But there was a, a wood store on the side of here that was falling down. And uh, yeah, we, I decided that it'd be nice to open up this driveway. Sorry, this, this driveway here. So we get cars in and out. Um, at some point I'll probably gravel it because there's quite a few stones and stuff. But we tore it down, me and my sister and Lavisa, we tore it all off. Um, we re refurbished as much wood as I could, but a lot of it got burnt. It was it was a waste, it had like asbestos. Oh no, I didn't even have asbestos, it had old wooden shingles on top that were rotted. I'll show you the picture, and you can see in the background like there's the, this all needs to go to the skip. If I can get out of the, the low winter sun for long enough, I'm gonna give you a quick tour of the shed, which I've taken over as my own. We're using part of it for storage, part of it for a sort of workshop. Wesley, it's a woodpecker, leave him alone. So yeah, if we look at the shed, storage is in here. This is the workshop. Then there's a big wood store under here that goes the full length, which was full when we got it. And then there's the end part, which was initially called an utadas, which is like an outside toilet, just a long drop. But what I've done is I've changed that into seasoning of wood storage, and I built a shower and a comp I put a composting toilet in there. So this is the storage part. We've got some ladders and tools and stuff in here. I think it was an old goat or a cow storage or a shed. Um, the the beams at the back, that's actually the front porch that they pulled down, all the original beams. There's some good wood there. I'm going to use that to repair some of the rotted bottom beams in the cabin. But like we're using it for storing miscellaneous wood. There's a chair in there that my sister doesn't want me to get rid of for some reason. And a lot of the summer stuff is in here. Like there's, there's a washing machine down there. Uh, it's like a camper van washing machine. But this is pretty interesting. It's the old stairs. They're more of a ladder than the stairs. Wesley? Who are you barking at? Hello, little friend. Hello. Say hello to everyone. Hello. Okay. Come here. Come here, you little bugger. Hello. Hello. Who's a little buddy? Who's a little buddy? Yeah. Yeah, happy boy. Happy boy. So this is the what I would call the workshop area. It's directly on to the, the rest of the storage area of the shed, but I set up a table. It's a, it's a right mess now, so don't please don't judge me because I'm storing a lot of stuff over winter. I can't do that much work. Like we have wood storage at the top. This is the solar panel array, which I'm storing inside. Uh, over the back there, I haven't even had time to get rid of stuff. There's like old engine parts and there's a, this really cool like sled thing lockers, all sorts of things. Um, and all of these cupboards, I'm thinking I'm gonna just take them all out and completely make this into a nice workshop. We have things like old tires. This was the fridge that we used over the winter. It was really inefficient, not great. Um, and then down here we have the generator. So I had, in terms of generators, I had two like this, like the small electric ones with the inverter built in. But they're just not, they're, they're really not very good for extended periods of use, I would say. I tried to keep it going, but it just died on me. So I took it back, the other one, and got one of these big, uh, I think it's a 2000 watt generator. Um, the other bad thing about those small ones is I couldn't use my power tools. So I have a circular saw and stuff here. And I could get it going, and then it, the back, the generator would cut out, so I'd have to keep starting the generator, do a little bit, start the generator, do a little bit. It might be why it broke. But yeah, so I have this one. And then this is the cable that runs off to the, sorry, this is the cable that runs off to the cabin. If the sun is too much, but it goes quite away. The other cool thing about this place is there's the, the upstairs. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna take the, the old stairs, once I've cleared this back end out, put them up so that I can use the top more. This, so this whole bit up here is the top of the woodshed. We'll go have a look at that now. Now, as I said, 
it came super well stocked and it goes all the way to the back so I'm thinking that I'm thinking that even it might be too well seasoned at the back but we'll have a look hello Wesley um but yeah I've been slowly filling it up as well um probably enough if we lived here full time I think that would probably be enough to last a winter it does like the wood stove is all this small stuff is good for the wood stove and finally we're over to the the like wood wood well, wood seasoning uh, toilet and shower area and it's the temporary toilet and shower area until I got the rest place fixed the mudroom fixed with the toilet in it you can see the solar panel that powers a little bo little battery in here and what that does is just there's two lights there's a, two lights in the main shed as well and the fan for the composting toilet um, you can't run the fan for the, fan, the composting toilet full time because the battery it drains the battery super quick when I move it into the mudroom, I'm gonna do the the, old, the Mediterranean trick where you you feed the pipe out, the exhaust pipe, up through the roof, and then you paint it black. So hopefully the sun will come up, like bring it out. And then I also want to add a, a solar panel vent, like fan on there as well. Okay, so it's the next day. Um, I decided to refilm this bit because I was standing in the shot so much. So we're gonna go into the the like toilet shed. Well, the temporary toilet shed and I'll show you the electrics and stuff as you can see we got like this pile of wood this was chopped down this year there was a strong storm and it knocked down probably 10 trees so I chopped that up over the summer and it's sitting in here it's the British style of stacking which is just throw it in not the Scandinavian style which is super nice stacking uh, so here's the the electrics um, very, very simple electrics in here. This runs the lights in here. So I have two, two of these style double LED strip lights, but I've set them to only do one. Uh, two in here and then two in the, the other main shed. Um, 70 amp hour battery, battery charger, uh, then just like a small fuse panel things for splitting off the different lines and a very cool uh very small but very efficient little solar charge controller um that charges it totally fine and i mean it's charging it now even though the the sun is pretty low in the sky as it gets in sweden it's probably about midday now um it charges it enough to keep it going so over here we have this light switch which turns the lights on in both rooms you can see I've only set one of these. I could set it to two and it'd be brighter, but it's less efficient. Um, I had both, I had, two, I had a double switch here and one would turn the fan onto the toilet and the other would turn the lights on. But I forgot, I left the fan running because I thought it'd be fine, but it killed the small battery really had in here before because it takes so much power. So now when you turn the lights on, you also turn the fan on, which is okay at the moment but we'll be changing it up a bit when we move the toilet into the house, into the cabin. So when I when we first got this, I'll put a picture up, hopefully. The door wasn't there and the, most of this wall wasn't here. And then in there was a, what they call an utadas. It was like a box like this uh, with two holes in it and some lids. And basically that's where you did your business. Um, we decided we wanted a composting toilet, so what I did was I ripped that all out, dug it all out, and built the shower, and put the toilet in there, and redid the wall, put the door in. It was one of the first things I did. So, as you can see in here, this is the shower, just temporary shower for now. Um, it's a 12 volt rechargeable shower that you dunk into a bucket, and we heat well water in a big uh, copper kettle that we have, and we... You turn that on, you dunk it into the water and it gives you an okay shower. I built the backboard, the shelf, and then in in here I put a bunch of granite rocks to, you can't really see them, so it doesn't get muddy, it more spreads it out. And this worked really fine in the summer. Um, as I said, it was one of the first things I did because I like having a shower. I don't like uh, being dirty. And then the other thing we have here is a Multoa 12 volt or Sepira, Sepira, I don't know. It's a 12 volt composting toilet. So it's a urine separating toilet. There's a, there's a, like a, a, 
a place for the urine there and a pipe that goes out the back and down into a trench or like a proper filter pit and then inside here is a a bin and you put these plastic bags in the bin and you put the compost in the bin and then you do your business in there you can use paper and everything and we had four or five people here for two three months over the summer and i had to change it more uh, roughly once a week which is totally fine it was good um and then when you take it out uh you take i built a composting pile way over in the edge of the property and you leave them in the bags for six months to so the compost can do its work and then so yeah and then it has you can hear the fan is going out the back for now just getting rid of the smells and the gases so yeah that's that's this one of the first things i did